Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts and brace yourselves, because what I'm about to share with you is utterly staggering. Credit where it's due, Toyota has gone and outdone itself, crafting one of the most elaborate and audacious drivetrains in the history of motoring. If you revel in complexity and cutting-edge innovation, you're in for a treat. Toyota has taken an enormous gamble on hydrogen, declaring it not just a credible alternative to electric vehicles, EVs, but the very future of the automotive industry. By 2040, they predict the majority of vehicles worldwide, cars, trucks, buses, will be hydrogen-powered. Yes, you heard that correctly. Welcome, everyone. Today, we're delving into a sensational article from Automotive News that reveals Toyota's grandiose plans for hydrogen. I won't cover every detail here, this video would last longer than a Lord of the Rings marathon, but suffice it to say, Toyota is all in on hydrogen. They're not merely toying with hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, which combine a battery with a hydrogen fuel cell. Oh no, they're also developing hydrogen combustion engines and other groundbreaking technologies. Toyota has even partnered with a fossil fuel company to push hydrogen, echoing Tesla's ecosystem of EVs and superchargers. They aim to create a similar network for hydrogen, believing it will eventually win us all over. They've unveiled a new thermally efficient internal combustion engine that can run on gasoline, synthetic fuel, biodiesel, and hydrogen. Almost anything, really. Picture feeding it oil from McDonald's and getting it to run. I jest, but that's the level of versatility they're boasting. This technological marvel springs from Toyota's foray into racing with its hydrogen-powered GR Corolla. That engine, by the way, has a history of melting itself due to the blistering temperatures at which hydrogen burns. Hydrogen might be more thermally efficient than traditional gasoline engines, but it's a reliability nightmare. Despite these challenges, Toyota remains steadfastly committed to internal combustion engines as part of their master plan. Now, we all know Toyota has been roasted for its anti-EV stance. They've run ads against EVs and even handed out pamphlets to school children claiming EVs are ineffective. Yet, despite dangling the promise of a solid-state battery since 2013, they've failed to deliver. Meanwhile, their lone global EV, the BZ4X, hasn't exactly set the world on fire. As a result, Toyota clings to their so-called multi-pathway approach to reducing emissions. They predict that by 2040, hydrogen will power 80% of vehicles sold. That's their vision for the future, even if it seems more like science fiction. In the meantime, Toyota aims for carbon neutrality with a mix of better EVs, plug-in hybrids, conventional hybrids, and internal combustion engine cars. Their CEO boldly claims that EVs will never capture more than 30% of the global market, no matter how advanced the technology becomes. They've placed a hard cap on it, insisting that even with the most revolutionary batteries, EVs will never dominate the market. Where does this 30% figure come from? Your guess is as good as mine. But Toyota is unwavering, even as they develop new, thermally efficient engines that can run on everything from gasoline to hydrogen. These synthetic e-fuels and hydrogen, mind you, cost about 10 times more than regular petrol. That's a tough sell in any market. Toyota's chairman and former CEO, Akio Toyota, remains the puppet master behind the scenes. Some investors are pushing to oust him, fearing Toyota's trajectory mirrors that of Kodak, once a giant, now a cautionary tale. But instead of creating another fuel cell flop like the Mirai, Toyota's engineers have repurposed the 1.6 L3 cylinder engine from the GR Corolla for hydrogen. They've managed to balance thermal efficiency and hydrogen's intense burn, gleaning insights from their racing escapades. Interestingly, none of the major media outlets reporting on this breakthrough mention the engines that have blown up during development. You'd think that's crucial info, right? Anyway, Toyota's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, credits their hydrogen race car for advancements in engine heat efficiency, propelling this technology forward. Many believe hydrogen's potential is limitless, fueled by billions in investment and media hype. But the truth is, car companies have been tinkering with hydrogen for over 40 years. 
Unlike the rapid advancement seen in EV batteries, hydrogen technology hasn't achieved a breakthrough to make it economically viable. Toyota's engineers claim their new engines are 10 to 20% smaller, more fuel efficient, and more powerful. These engines, they say, will eventually be part of a hybrid drivetrain, blending hydrogen with traditional fuels. Yet, specifics on performance, emissions, and regulations are still under wraps. So, what's the verdict? Will Toyota's hydrogen gambit pay off, or will they go the way of Nokia? Once dominant, now a footnote? Let me know what you think in the comments.